Hi, how are you? Hi, good, thank you. How, what's your name? Inasa. Hi, well, what, uh, how old are you? I am 18. I will be 19 this year of September. Where do you live? <clears throat> I live in Northridge. So, what do you like? Tell us about yourself. I am, I feel like I'm a very open-minded person who likes to be very social and communicate with people. Um, I like to be very friendly and hardworking. I'm like a free spirit when it comes to communicating with others. Um, why do you want to work for this company? I want to work for this company because I feel like it's a very great way to start my business for my future um, career. I feel like it's a great way for me to build a lot of great experience and network with more people. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, what do you feel separates this company from other competitors? I feel like this company is a lot more like it's well marketed compared to other like companies and there's many celebrities and makeup artists who have used your product and I really love the products that you guys sell. What would you do if you were to pair up with the to if you're to pair up to work on a project with the coworker whom you do not like? Um, if I were paired up to work with someone whom I didn't like I would just keep it professional and forget about the fact that I don't like them and just respect them as a co-worker and get along no matter what just to make the workplace more satisfying and worth wanting to come every day. What do you think you could bring to the team? I feel like I could bring a lot of free spirit and I take marketing classes now. I feel like I could bring some marketing skills that I have learned into the job in order to sell product as well as be able to apply makeup from my creativity side on the clients. What would you do if you got if you caught a fellow employee stealing products? Um, if I caught a fellow employee stealing products. I would for sure like confront them and tell them how wrong it is because they're causing to co the company to lose their money by having their products missing and it's not bought. And then I would for sure co um, complain to the company. How available are you to work um, any hours, weekends, and holidays? Um, I'm available to work on any hours after 4 p.m. and on weekends and holidays I'm willing to work at any hour. Um, how would you describe your signature look? I would for sure describe my look my signature look as um, natural with a pop of like cat eye or a bald lip for the daytime and like evening I would do a, like a cat eye with or a smoky eye with a nude lip. Um, uh, what is it about your style that sets you apart from other makeup artists? I feel like my style is different from other makeup artists in a way that there's many amazing makeup artists that I've seen but some of them leave harsh lines on their face like in person when you see them in camera they look very pretty but then in person you could see how like how patchy it is and like cakey I'll make it more natural I try to blend it out more and make it more dewy look do you have any previous cosmetic experience um no I don't have any experience working in a company but I have had yes I've had experience working with like clients on the side like a freelance I did freelance where I would work on family members relatives and friends and I've done makeup for them like for special occasions how would you deflect a customer from a makeup look not suitable for them 
If a customer came to me with a look that I felt wasn't suitable for them, I would for sure try to change their mind by giving them advice like from my personal experience, I would rather uh, I would uh, I would rather tell you to like do this type of look because it brings out your eyes better or I would just give them like a different advice and hopefully like convince them to change their mind. And um, where do you see yourself in two to five years? In two to five years, I see myself doing, hopefully, gradu by that time I'll have a marketing degree and a cosmetology license complete so that I can be working, hopefully, with celebrities and have a bigger name for myself already. Um, what are your strengths in applying makeup? My strengths in applying makeup are, like, I'm very, I'm like the type who does, I could put on a lot of makeup, but I can make it look natural. And I've had, like, a lot of strengths in doing eyeliner. Many people have trouble do, doing that, even, like, makeup artists. But to me, that comes in very easy. Why should we hire you? I feel like you guys should hire me because I do have a mark. I am learning marketing, which I can bring my marketing skills into this job in order to sell products as well as do makeup on the clients. What is your definition of a professional? My definition of a professional is someone who is well experienced, who has who feels confident in what they are doing and they love what they are doing and just they, they, they're they full on confident and have all the experience that they know and need and I feel like even if you have experience like you grow the more you go over the years you look back and you grow more from your past things that you have done you could change it and grow from that what attracted you to this company? The thing that attracted me to this company is that I was always like looking for makeup artists and like searching their types of jobs and stuff and I've seen that your company was well respected and I feel like it was a really great opportunity for me to work for this company. It's like, I feel like it's a very popular, well-known company and brand. When were you most satisfied in your job? I was most satisfied in my job was when I have a bunch of clients who are very, um, pretty much like open-minded to new looks if I advise them to try a different look and when they're like they're very friendly with me and I feel like I really do want to give them the look for the makeup and just I felt the most confident happy in my workplace when they're I just have great clients that I love to do makeup on. What were your responsibilities of your last job? The responsibilities of my last job was since I would do freelance I was working on my own I would have to do like I had to do my own marketing to get my own clients I had to manage my own money and my profit and how much money I need to buy my how much money I need to save to buy new products for my clients and like I had to do, I learned how to do the makeup on my own. I had to like figure out ways of making, if I had a problem, let's say someone's face would come out dry, I had to do my research and to learn how to make their makeup next time look more dewy and clean. Are you willing to be relocated? Um, yes, I'm willing to be relocated. What made you want to become a makeup artist? 
the, I, the thing is, I never really knew what I wanted to be until I got to, like, um, high school. And then I realized I really loved to apply makeup on myself and others. And I just felt like I wanted to do marketing as well just to have some other type of degree with me. So I decided to learn marketing and I wanted to be a makeup artist just to do something that I felt passionate about. Do you have a portfolio of your work? Um, yes, I have a portfolio and I also have a Facebook and Instagram and I also show, I show my work on in social media. Where do you get your creativity from? Personally, I feel like when I was little and I first started doing makeup, it was like I didn't feel like I was creative at putting makeup. I felt like I was horrible at it. And then over the years, I just felt like it just came to me. I just grew up and I felt like it just, it just like grew into me out of nowhere. Um, name at least two makeup styles you like to wear on yourself. Um, two makeup styles that I would like to wear is during the day, I usually like to put on a more natural look with like brown tones and beige tones and a bald lip or a cat eye with a nude lip. And then during the evening, I like to do a more like a cat eye or dark smoky eye with a nude lip. What are the challenges makeup artists face in their day-to-day -day lives? Um, challenges that makeup artists face in their everyday life is pretty much working with many types of clients who might come off rude to the to them. They may have different personalities. You need to know how to communicate properly in order to get them to feel comfortable and trust you. And I feel like you need to know how to make them feel comfortable. It's very important to make the clients feel very comfortable when you're applying makeup on them so that they don't feel like uncomfortable so that they could trust you before applying the makeup. They feel comfortable with the way they look and trust you to make them transform into an even more beautiful enhancing person and um, I also feel like the challenges they face is that if you have an appointment early in the morning the problem is you need to go like earlier in order to be there on time and get everything set up so I feel like Makeup artists don't get much sleep because they wake up very early or they have to like stay over time and they don't even get paid for it. Depends on the situation. They face many challenges from marketing themselves to getting clients and other stuff. Describe a time you had to create a look under pressure. The time I had to create a look under pressure was when it was my first time applying makeup for a special occasion and it was on my mom and my dad was very in a, was in a very big rush to hurry because they were getting late and I didn't know that it would take that long it was my first time and then all of a sudden like I felt that was the first time I felt the pressure on me into hurrying up to do the makeup do you have any questions for me no I don't Okay, well, thank you. That is all for today. It was nice talking to you. We'll get back to you as soon as we can. Okay.